A U.S. Marine and his faithful dog have ended the search for a desperate fugitive who escaped from the Shoshone County Jail. Roy Bielek was taken into custody last night just about a mile south of Wallace after he was shot by a homeowner who found the ex-con hiding in his yard. KXY4's Jeff Humphrey working for you tonight with a look at why the longtime crook picked the wrong guy to mess with during his brief escape from justice. Jeff? Nadine, ever since Bielik was spotted making his escape out of this closet, Shoshone County Sheriff worried about what the fugitive might do to avoid getting captured. Would he get a ride from a carjacking, pick up new weapons in a burglary? None of those things happen, and that's because one of our former Marines had the right training and equipment to take Bielik back into custody. If you could pick your neighbors, you'd want this guy, Brian Becker, to be one of them. Roy Belock made his jailbreak Tuesday night after crawling through the ceiling of this storage closet and then bolting past a stunned cleaning woman when she opened up the door. Do you know where Roy might be or? Far away from here. Belock's fiance told KXOI Roy was long gone, but as recently as Thursday afternoon, a Wallace woman doing some hiking faced down Belock on a trail just south of town. You know, she did state that she was armed and said that uh, the male was acting kind of funny. Just a few hours later, Brian Becker's dog started barking at something in the yard. The U.S. Marine grabbed his pistol and went outside to investigate. Uh, I'm looking around. I'm shining the flashlight and I can't see anything. And so I start working it from top down and get to uh, the base of a tree and there he is uh, hiding there watching me. Becker called Beluck out at gunpoint, but the fugitive refused to keep his hands out of his pockets. At one point he finally says, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it. And I said, yes, you are. And he stepped toward me and that's when I shot. And he went down immediately. And that's because Becker's bullet had punched through both of Beluck's calves. It was a good day. Um, uh, nobody died. Everybody went home and peace and harmony reigned. Don't mess with Marines. Becker, whose retired law enforcement recognized Beluck from his mugshot, given the fugitive's criminal history, Becker was glad to help get him back in custody. Yeah, definitely. I'd much rather it be somebody with my background that uh, can deal with this and, and handle it than I would some, some scared single mom or something that had to run into him. So, yeah, it's much better that it be me. And so tonight, Belock is back in the Kootenai County Jail. It's better equipped to handle his gunshot wounds. In the meantime, Mr. Becker, he's the toast of Shoshone County, where the sheriff thinks Becker's use of force in this shooting was totally justified. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4. Oh, great. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Spokane Police.